27 new members of the State House of Representatives sworn in today. That means House Republicans will enter the new legislative session with a two-thirds supermajority for the first time since the 1870s. Our Becky Budge is at the State House with more details. With the raising of hands, members of the House of Representatives were sworn into office Tuesday. It's time to start governing. Longest serving member representative Gilda Cobb Hunter welcoming 27 new members, the largest freshman class since 1996. The people of South Carolina need us. Of the 124 members, there are now 88 Republicans and 36 Democrats, giving the party more than two thirds of House seats. That means they can pass almost any type of legislation, even ones that require a high threshold without a single Democratic vote. In charge of the chamber is Speaker Merle Smith, who was unanimously elected along with the other chamber leaders. In this state, a person's zip code should not indicate their limits. It is time for us to do big things and plant those seeds. Smith laying out his party's priorities. Economic development, there are ways that we've fallen behind in that and that we intend to focus on that. Talk about criminal justice issues, I think that's a real priority, the catch and release, the fentanyl. While the House gained more members, it lost some diversity. Just 16% of members are women. Cobb Hunter noting of the seven Democrats who lost their seats, five of them were African-American women. You mattered. There are some of us who will miss you. And there is a void in this chamber. The House will return Wednesday to elect committee leadership positions. At the State House, Becky Buds, News 19 WLTX. And state lawmakers return for the 2023 session on January the 10th.